Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can have a user set uh, the minimum and the maximum or the low end and the high end values of the icon sets in conditional formatting. And this is super useful for when you have a dashboard and you want to have the user kind of change uh, perhaps their key performance indicators on a monthly basis. And this will allow you to do that. So what I've done is I've created a dashboard settings tab and I actually have the quality review dashboard here. Uh, very simple, obviously. There's nothing really to to the back end of this, but it's it's just going to show you how this actually works. So, the first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to select the quantity recalled uh, cell here, and we're going to want to associate this uh, some conditional format icon sets based off of some user defined dashboard settings for our icon sets. So, I'm going to go to conditional formatting. I'm going to go down to new rule, and I'm on the home tab there. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select uh, down at the bottom here. You'll see format style. I want to select icon sets. So my point of pr or my most favorite icon set, I should say, is this stoplight feature with kind of the uh, the black outline on it. And the next thing I do is I'm dealing with numbers and I want to use numbers as uh, my high end and low end uh, conditional formatting values. So we're going to select number because I don't want to deal with percentage and we'll select number there as well now because as things get higher in this case um, we're gonna have the icon sets turn red and if they're lower then we're gonna have them green obviously the if your number of claims are lower then you're gonna want to show that we're doing well and if they're much higher then they're gonna be in red or yellow if as they get progressively worse so let's go to the reverse icon order I've set that now uh, and that's going to allow me to set a high end value and the higher the end value is or the high end or max end value is uh, anything above this specific value here is going to show up as red anything between this value and this value because I have it set my operator set to greater than or equal to will show in yellow and then anything below that will show in green so that's perfect the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select this little row indicator uh, highlighted cell thingy and we're going to go over to dashboard settings and in this case I'm currently setting the high end value so I have these backwards here so I'll, I'll flip those colors just to make it uh, make make this make a little more sense after I'm finished here but um, we're going to select the high end value so if the quantity recalled is greater than 1500 we're going to want that to show in red so I'm going to clear this out I'm going to select cell D3 and then secondly I'm going to go back to this value for in between uh, this specific value and the higher end value and is going to show in yellow and then anything less will show in green. So that's going to be our min value in this case, which is going to be set at the dashboard setting as well under quantity recall, but we're going to select the low end value. So I'm going to do this and we're going to hit OK. And you'll see that I've hit that value of greater than or equal to 1500, which was based off of the value that I set here on the high end. So let's switch this color around just to reduce the confusion that I have going on right now. And then I'll switch this to green just so that's understandable, at least from a quality standpoint. So going back to the dashboard, if we were to switch this value down to 400, let's say, you'll see that that is in green because the value that I've set on the low end is actually 500. So if we had a quantity recalled of less than 500, then we would still be in the green and we wouldn't consider that a bad month. But let's just say I switched this down to 300 and we tightened up that parameter and key performance indicator. If I flip back to the dashboard now, because it's 300, you'll see that it falls between uh, 300 and 1500, which makes that a yellow value. So then you could apply that same conditional formatting over to uh, this specific cell here so on the number of claims we already have that set up so if I go to quality review and I select number of claims we go to conditional formatting let's do this again go to new rule and then we're going to select based off of icon sets we're going to reverse the order again because the higher the value the worse it is we're going to select number as a refresher here and then we're going to select this value here we're going to go to dashboard settings and in this case, we want the high end value, of course. So that's going to be 20 in this case. And then going back to 
the lower end value, going back to the dashboard setting, low end is five. We're gonna hit okay. And perfect, so in this case, I actually used a different icon set. Let's go and make this um, the same as the other icon set that I'm using. So we're gonna go to manage rules, and I'm gonna go edit rule, and I'm simply gonna switch these. Hit OK, and you can use any of these icon sets, of course, whichever one you prefer. So there you have it. So now if I were, were to go um, 3, you'll see that this changes to green because our lower end value is greater than or equal to 5 would be showing in yellow, and then anything greater than uh, 20 would show in red. So if I were to switch this over here to 25, you'll see that that's red. And then again, we can switch this up, right? So if I go back and I add 30 on the high end value for the number of claims as our dashboard setting from the user and our key performance metric, you'll see that, that I fell in the yellow there. And then finally, if I, sorry, if I go back to the dashboard and I set this value to two, you'll see that I'm in green. And if I set this value to 10 or something for quantity recalled, you'll see that that sets itself to green. Well, I hope you learned a lot in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments below. I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.